I have uh, <coughs> spoken before of the great need for our um, uh, new port, the port of Bayusu, because the present port is not only heavily congested now, and which is also limiting the industries, the new uh, infrastructure that we want to build with requests from overseas companies like fishing companies to build on the wharf uh, area which is getting smaller and smaller. Uh, not only that, uh, the location itself uh, is unsuitable uh, where we are now. In the early 1970, close to 50 years ago, our leaders at the time were informed uh, from engineering studies. One of those studies were, uh, was uh, uh, done by Professor Rodkevi, a uh, marine engineer from uh, Auckland University, um, concluded that the ideal port uh, should be built, a port of the future should be built at Vayusu Bay, exactly the spot that we have been identified, west of the Mulinu Peninsula. Uh, one of the reasons, or the main reason, was that uh, Matautu uh, Harbour is subjected to very heavy ocean swells which tend to uh, be very dangerous for ships that are berthed on a wharf <coughs> if we built at Matout. <coughs> and the swells uh, get very bad during the first six months of the year. And uh, from the viewpoint of uh, business, trading, and cruise ships, it's uh, very bad for uh, our economy. And proof of uh, these engineering, uh, marine engineering findings, uh, proof was uh, uh, provided when our forums are more was grounded on the reef because of the strength of the current uh, several years ago. That uh, grounding uh, was detrimental to the financial position of the Pacific Forum Line and I think it is a major factor which led to the bankruptcy of the Pacific Forum line, which was established uh, by the Pacific Forum way back in 1978. It was uh, the first major successful story of uh, a regional project in which the Pacific uh, Forum governments uh, were party especially in New Zealand and Australia. Um, but it was bankrupted several years ago. And uh, we have decided with the congestion that we constantly face with our present wolf, despite the fact that uh, the wolf has been undergoing uh, upgrading by the Japanese uh, aid, uh, which improved the parking 
space for containers. But at the same time, the turning uh, point has uh, shrunk for our ships and has not, uh, has never prevented the problem of uh, ocean swells. Uh, and the safe port uh, remains the Vayusu Bay, which is the reason why we have uh, pressured to, it's time to build the wharf now. From the viewpoint of uh, tourism development uh, through the promotion of uh, cruise ships as well as uh, trade, I cannot uh, overemphasize the benefits to this nation by uh, ensuring that we do something about uh, it now, that we must proceed and build. Now, we have asked all the, or most of the countries, especially Japan, to build this. Uh, Japan told us uh, they can't. I'm sure if I ask America or Australia or New Zealand, they will never build it. Only China has uh, come to uh, has come on board to help us out with uh, uh, with the war, in the sense that uh, President Z at our meeting in uh, Papua New Guinea last year, uh, on the occasion of the APEC meeting. Uh, uh, did confirm that the final feasibility study should be completed uh, this year. And then uh, they will make the final decision. Uh, for us, uh, it's a major contribution to our GDP growth. And uh, we propose to have it built in faces. So, that's the story. Uh, by the way, we also have uh, other projects. Our small uh, wharf at Asao, another small wharf uh, at Sari Long, and another small wharf uh, at Alipata. The beauty about Alipata is that it will promote uh, constant uh, uh, trading of our local produce between American Samoa and our nation. And that trade relationship should continue to grow and grow. Salih Loa Port is the entry port for everybody for Samoa to go to Salih exit port for the survey people to come to port. And the wharf at uh, Asao, that was the wharf that was used by potlatch to ship out uh, timber in the 60s and the 70s by potlatch. The problem with that wharf uh, is that the entrance uh, into the harbour is uh, too shallow. And uh, this is again uh, another one that we requested uh, uh, any country to come and help us. The problem is uh, only China has uh, responded. Uh, and all that uh, is happening is for other countries to say, oh, China will build a military uh, establishment here. That is uh, a lot of hogwash. Uh, uh, those people never came to ask me. Uh, uh, the same, the same type of people, same kind, uh, also create fictitious 
uh, news about uh, Vanuatu. Uh, uh, very ignorant. A uh, lot of ignorant people in uh, Australia and New Zealand who speak about things that they don't understand. Uh, uh, and all we are worried about is the development of our, uh, of our economies. The warfare does how uh, we can see would be a good uh, port for our fishing industry. <coughs> and the port at uh, Alibata will be excellent for our trading exchange between American Samoa and Western Samoa. The port at uh, Salilolonga <coughs> will be uh, a port to promote uh, uh, visits between the bigger island of Zawai and also uh, Oporu. That's the whole purpose. Uh, Nothing to do with the military. We never understand how this uh, military garbage creeps in. Uh, and I, I always uh, admire the Chinese for responding to our calls. Uh, Mr. Prime Minister, in terms of funding, because of the feasibility study, has it been finalized? Will it be a combination? Nothing is finalized. This is funding. <laughs> Until the, the final feasibility study is completed. Uh, but nothing is finalized. We are at the talking stage. Uh, I had written to uh, and uh, to China and had uh, several discussions uh, with the management. Uh, to me, it seemed that they are extremely interested. But then. Uh, the final decision came, and it was a thumb down for our project. In other words, uh, we had opened the project for any good Samaritan. Uh, and there's only one good Samaritan uh, that, ca that uh, came on board. Uh. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister.